My name is Isaac Duncan III. I'm a sculptor, and I make non-objective abstraction art, specifically metal sculptures. One of the partnerships that I'm happy about is with the Creative Discovery Museum, where I partnered to recreate one of my sculptures so that children can play and learn about scale and become their own sculptor. My artwork is not based off an object that I am deforming or changing. It's based off of my thoughts or philosophy. A lot of my pieces have a sense of motion, but they don't move. All my pieces uses the natural materials for its coloration. My pieces also have a sense of light playing as a major factor in the piece without actually having electricity. I like to create pieces that defy gravity. One of the first things that I do when I get to the studio is put on music. That music creates a vibe. It gives me energy to create. The music depends on what mood I feel and how I wake up that morning. And sometimes it also depends on which way I want the piece to go. After doing that, I go over to my fabrication floor and start placing them in space and create composition that's based off of the mood or the ideas that I have. I use the process of fabrication specifically metal fabrication. And that's the process of taking electricity, having positive and negative electricity meet, creating a very high intense melting area, which then melts the metal together. So as I create, I'm constantly putting pieces next to each other and then melting them so that they can hold. There's a bunch of tools that I use that assist me in creating my pieces. I use a chop saw, and that's a metal disc that's going really, really fast, and it cuts metal. I then take two pieces of metal, put them next to each other, and use the welding machine to add heat so they can melt together, and then they become one. After I put pieces together, I then use a grinder. Think of that as a sandpaper that's going really, really fast and it's smoothing the edges down. I've been sculpting for almost 28 years. And over these years, I've accumulated a lot of materials. Some of the materials come from projects that I've done in the past. My materials are not scrap. They're always potential for another creation. So I always save all my pieces. Other times, I have a chance to go to scrapyards, but specifically scrapyards that deal with metals that are alloys. Alloys are metals that are mixed together that create a stronger type of metal. For example, aluminum, brass, bronze, stainless steel. One of the reasons why I use alloys in my chosen material is because it really speaks to me. Alloys are a mixture of different metals to create one stronger metal. I see it as a biographical material for me where I'm a person of mixed heritage, mixed cultures. So I use something that is also mixed to create stronger and better artwork. To be an artist, you cannot have the mindset of a sprinter. You have to have the mindset of a marathon runner. No one becomes an artist overnight. And to create a piece just doesn't happen. It is time and effort and a lot of work, a lot of failures but a lot of successes. My art is informed by my everyday life and the things that happen around me. And I have to be open to that. I have to be able to take in the good 
let go of the bad. My creations are not just a product of something that just came up and I put it out. It's a combination of the skills that I've gained throughout the years that allows me to easily create something from my mind, through my body, and out in space.